If you want to play Windows game inside of your Mac, you have a couple of different options and I'm going to show you the one that is completely free and you can try it today. Now, let's begin with the tutorial. You want to open your web browser and you have here a couple of different options. First, you have crossover that works really good, but you have to pay, I believe it's around 74 bucks to be able to use it. Yeah, right here. But they also offer a free trial that you can try it out for around 14 days before you need to purchase it. Now, you can use virtualization with something like Parallels to install Windows inside of your Mac and then your game's there. I don't really recommend it for gaming. And the other one that is completely for free and what we're going to be doing on this video is Whiskey. So you want to go into the description down below where I'm going to let you guys the link to download the Whiskey app and you want to click into Download Latest. Once you have it already downloaded, you can click to open the folder and right here you're going to see that it's a .zip file. Double click into it to uncompress it. And now you have the application right here. Double click into it. And as always in macOS, this is going to tell you that this is an app downloaded from the internet if you are sure that you want to open it. Click into open. And normally this is going to ask you if you want to install a couple of dependencies that the program need to work. I don't have it right here because I already installed it before time and I try it out. But as you can see right now, it's going to tell me if you want to check for updates automatically. And I recommend you guys that you set up automatically download and install updates and click check automatically. Now you want to create your first bottle to get started. So you want to click into create bottle. As a bottle name, let's say any name that you want, for example, easy tech. In here, you can change the version of Windows that you want to use. In my case, I'm going to select Windows 11. And this is the bottle pad. You can leave it as it is. Click into create. And now you have here your first, let's say, virtualization of Windows. It's not really that, but anyway. Now you want to go once more into your web browser. In Google, you can search for the launcher of games that you want to use. In my case, it's going to be Steam. So you want to select Steam. Press enter. And right here, you're going to see the link of Steam. Click on it. And select install Steam. This is going to show you right here the option to download it for Mac. That is not what we want. We need the file that is made for Windows. So right here underneath, you're going to see the icon of Windows. Click on it. And as you can see, this is going to download the Steam setup.exe. That is the Windows file. Now go out of your web browser and come into whiskey once more right here on the bottom you're going to see the option of open c drive click on it this is a drive or a virtual drive that whiskey created for you with windows as you can see you have the typical folders that you will find in a windows operating system you want to take that download steam setup.exe file that we got before and you want to paste it into this folder once you have done that you can close this finder and in here in the bottom right corner, you're going to see the option of run. Click on it. You're going to be into that drive C, select Steam Setup and click into open. This is going to start to install Steam for Windows inside of your Mac, inside of the whiskey bottle that we just created. So go. click into next, select your language and click into next. And where you want to have it, leave the default folder and click into install. Now you can select run Steam and click into finish. Sometimes Steam is going to be updated before you can use it. And of course, you are going to need to have an Steam account. You can log in with your credentials or you can use the Authenticator app if you have it in your cell phone. Whisky is going to ask you if you want to add permission for the microphone, click into allow. If you want to use microphone when you're gaming or to speak with your friends. And now you have Steam open and as I said before, you need to log in into your account name or create a new one. And now you can see you can go into your library, select any game, and you are not going to see the option right here that you cannot use this format that is not compatible. You can select any game that you want. And you can click into install and start playing it in your Mac. And that is it for this tutorial, guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like into the video and to subscribe to the channel for more content like this one. Thanks for watching, my friends. See you guys on the next time. Bye bye.